Welcome from Trinity Church School, Radstock. Welcome from St. Viger and St. John School. Welcome from Westfield Primary School. Welcome from St. John's Primary School in Midsummer Norton. Welcome from Newtown St. John Primary School. Welcome from St. Julian's Primary School, Wellow. As area dean for Midsummer Norton, can I add my welcome to all the others? It's great to have you watching with us and I hope that you will enjoy this, our first online deanery carol service. Can I also take this opportunity to thank everyone for their contributions without which this program would never have occurred. Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. The maiden will be with child and will give birth to a son and will call him Emmanuel. a light has dawned for unto us a child is born unto us a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and his name shall be called wonderful counselor the mighty god the everlasting father the prince of peace
the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a maiden pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The maiden's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favoured. The Lord is with you. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. In those days Caesar Augustus issued a decree that the census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. up nice and warm. We want hot chocolate because outside it's cool. Let's play after the snowstorm. Making snowworm with our friends, throwing snowballs around, creating little cozy snow dens watching the, whilst watching the snowflakes at the ground. Decorating our Christmas trees, making gingerbread houses, thinking about our roast dinner with peas, getting our police sweaters that match our trousers. Spending time with the ones we love is the best thing ever. Santa flying high above to give you a set of treasure.
were shepherds living in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring good news of great joy that will be for all of the people. Today, in the town of David, a Saviour has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth and in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of angels appeared, praising God and singing, Glory to God in the highest. We hope you enjoy our carol story at night. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. No. 
While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because there was no guest room. Hello. It's great that you could join us for our deanery carol service for this year. It's the strangest of years where normally we'd be gathering in churches or in school halls to hear carol services and to watch and listen to nativity plays. I don't think any of us have ever done a carol service like this before, but isn't it wonderful through technology that we can? And aren't our children doing so well? I hope you're proud of them, whether they be grandchildren or children or friends of children, school colleagues. I just am blown away by the courage that they have to do what they're doing this year. If you're like me, even before I became a Christian 20 years ago, I would have gone to many carol services and many nativity plays. I'd have seen my own children. My daughter once played Mary, my son played a donkey and spent the time playing with the tail of his donkey instead of listening to what was going on. So many times we go to these services and we walk away with a, a warm feeling in our heart, but we're no closer to knowing the story that we've heard than we were when we went in. This story of God who humbled himself so much that he sent his son to be a baby in a manger. A baby that would grow up to bring wisdom and teaching that the world still abides by today in many places where our own laws here in the UK are built on the teachings of that baby in the manger. And then 33 years later, he would eventually be crucified for our sins. Because that's the bottom line of this story. As much as the light of Christmas is important, and it is, I'll come on to that in a second, we need to remember that there was a bigger picture behind the nativity scene, behind the carols, that we see because Jesus came into a dark world to bring light which is why we have so much light at Christmas it's why we light up our homes and our shops even our streets and our churches with light every time I go to Westfield primary school or they come over here to St Peter's I always promise the children that I would do a magic trick and today is no exception so as I've been saying, Jesus came as the light of the world. He is the light of the world, the centre of our world. And each Christmas we come to carol services or to nativity plays and the light is centermost. Maybe because of the lights around us, maybe because of candles, I don't know. But we think of the light. But then as Christmas becomes a memory and, and we go about our normal year, so the light disappears and all we're left with is a duller version or at worst the darker corners and then every year we go back to church and we're reminded that the light came to us he came to save us and to cleanse us from our sins and every year we will hold the light up and then we'll forget about it again and the reason I believe we forget about it is because it doesn't stay in our hearts. We don't understand the author and why he would give his son for us. And so this Christmas, maybe more than any other Christmas, we need to keep Jesus at the centre of all that we do. We need to understand the author of this story and what his intentions were. So that as we come into this Christmas period and we hold the light in the centre of our lives again, we take him with us this year, next year. We don't just leave him in the church or in the school nativity, but we take him with us. That we take the light of Christ wherever we go, that he will become the light of our lives, that he will light up a path for us wherever we go. And if we don't want to carry a 12 inch candle around us, maybe we need him in our hearts. Maybe we need to remember we can take this light wherever we go. That as this light goes out, another light will follow us. That we will go in the light of Christ into a world of darkness to take him with us wherever we go. Amen.
Dear God, this Christmas time we thank you for the heartwarming gifts we share and receive, the decorations that dance upon our wonderful Christmas trees, the delicious food we eat on Christmas Day, the cards and messages we send and receive to say Happy Christmas, the warmth we gain by our warming fireplaces, the Christmas joy we spread to make each other smile during lockdown. Amen. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod. Wise men from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and present, presented him with gifts of gold and of, and of incense and of myrrh.
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not understood it. The true light that gives light to every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through the world was made through him. The world did not recognise him. He came to that which was, which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children not born of natural descent, nor of human decision or a husband's will, but born of God. The word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. We have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only, who came from the Father full of truth and grace.